All right, we're going to find out if cold weather affects handgun velocities. Now, what I've done is a really simple experiment, but this is the type of ammo I'm going to test. A couple of different 9 millimeters, um, a 380 and a 45. I put 10 rounds of each of these ammunitions in this can here. By the way, it's 18 degrees out right now. And this has been outside for four days and nights. Um, two nights ago, it was six below zero, and last night it was two below zero. So it's safe to say this ammunition is cold. I put the same ammunition in the same amount of rounds in a fanny pack, and I'm wearing it on my body. And before I put it on my body, I had it uh, set over a heat heating duct for two days. So it's safe to say this ammo is very cold. The, the ammo that's on my body is very warm. And we'll just see with various calibers, 9mm, 45, and 380, if we get any difference in velocity with these uh, colder temperatures. So I'm just going to fire off 10 rounds of warm and then 10 rounds of cold of each and see what we get. All right, first up, we're going to fire the War Winchester White Box 115 grain. It's rated at 1176 feet per second from 5 yards, and we are from about 5 yards. We'll see if we get close to the 1176 with the warm Winchester White Box. 1090, 1147, 1094, 1086, error, 1138, 1136, no read, 1162, and 1137. We'll see how the, the ammo that's probably 80 degrees colder comparison velocity and that ammo is cold it hurts my fingers all right Winchester white box cold 1063 error 1145 1113 1111 1102, 1095, error, 1122, 1085. I haven't crushed the numbers, but I don't really, it doesn't really look like it's making much of a difference. Now let's try the 9mm Winchester service grade ammo and see how that compares. Okay, here's the Winchester service grade ammo, warm, 115 grain. 1119. 1135, 1163, 1149, 1160, 1162, 1162, 1150, 11 uh, the Winchester White Box had a higher velocity than the service grade. And by the way, this is all from the same box of ammunition to, to take away any variables. So it's the same lot of ammunition, same box. All right, here's the Winchester service grade, 115 grain cold. 1169. Error. 1130. 1153. 1090. 1155, 1103, 1144, 1122, 1132. So at first glance, I really can't say that I'm seeing a difference with that particular ammunition. Now let's try some 45 automatic. I'm going to do the Remington green and white box, 230 grain. It's rated at 835 feet per second. We'll see how warm compares to cold. All right, I have the 5.3 inch Glock 21. Here is the 45 automatic, warm, 230 grain, Remington. 832. 855 malfunction with this gun. I've actually had this happen before. That's not good. There's warm again. 843, I'm losing the mag. 836. I am 
I'm nowhere near the mag release, I don't believe. 835 846 839 808 841 um, pretty close to listed velocity um, the, the uh, average is probably straight on right on with the uh, listed I think I have a problem with my magazine, so I'm going to have to teacup this uh, pistol. Well, we'll see how the cold ammunition does. Error. 805. 8.22. 8.19. 8.12. 8.06. 8.07. 8.28. 813, 817, at first glance it looks like there's probably a little bit of a difference there. Last up, let's do the 380 automatic and see how that does. Right, here's the Aguila 95 grain full metal jacket, warm. 844, 843, 859, 865, 901, 889, 864. Alright, let's see how the cold compares. Alright, let's see how the cold Aguila ammunition compares. Eight six no error error. 863. 851, 836, 822, 860, 860, right. run a few more of these folds through, we got error. 803, 803, 850. So it's hard to say we didn't we did not hit a 900 like we did with the warm. Uh, there is some difference here, but from what I'm seeing before I crunch these numbers, not enough, not enough difference to make any difference at all really in the real world. I, I can't see how losing probably 20 feet per second. I mean that's like from one round to the other. So, not a big difference in my opinion here. Um, there's some difference, but for people that want to complain that the listed velocity isn't, uh, I'm not getting it because it's too cold out here, uh, I don't know. So, from what I'm seeing, there's not a big difference here. So, that's what you get. So, as always, comment, share, and like, and thanks for watching.